well, you two look great together at parties. Yeah, but he doesn't know how to... He doesn't know how to dance anymore. He doesn't know how to dance? Did he ever dance? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in college. Oh, in college, yes, of course. Well? When you two used to wear the same sweaters. And... We never did. Oh, no, we, did. we never were like that. You did? No, I, you no, did. we were never sort of that typical. <laughs> you did. I know you did. <laughs> All right. Once. I knew it. Give me number one. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I can't decide. It's easy. You give him another chance. The lighting, Jill. I'm talking about the lighting. Come on, Rebecca. Look, Drew can't control himself. He's incapable of it. I've just about had enough. But you two have been married forever. I think that one needs a gel. It's too harsh. What's this? Well, that's for his promotional tour. Publishing company wanted me to do it. Why not give him a taste of his own medicine, huh? Come with me to Rio and meet some guys. Why, so I can be just like him? I don't think so. Is that your two o'clock? Yeah, but he's late. Timothy Myers. Okay, now we're just gonna do a few tests, okay? So loosen up a little bit. I wonder if he's married. Okay, hang on one second. Let's just lose this jacket. It's a nice jacket, but it's... Chewing gum? Yes, ma'am. Lose it. It's better. Okay, now just turn to the side. There you go. Now turn your face away from me and just bring your eyes back. There you go. If you don't ask him out, I will. Jill, don't do this to me. <laughs> okay, you're doing fine. It's fine. Okay, now turn around. Now just turn your face a little. It's nice. Five hundred dollars. Did you ask him out? Give it a rest, Jill. Come on, you don't have to sleep with him. I mean, then again, you've got a plane to catch. Come on, I'll pick you up at five. What's going on? Those canvases are going to pay our rent for the next 12 months. Is it that bad? The Zen master will be with you in a moment. I thought it was just a passing phase. He's gone off the deep end. All our cases are pro bono now. Last week I saw him burn a hundred dollar bill. Part of his therapy. Rebecca, come on. You know, the press loves him. I hate to admit it, but he's becoming a celebrity. That's what he wanted. Yeah, but he's getting addicted to it like I was. You know, that compulsion, that obsession for power. You see, I didn't decide to let go of money until money let go of me, but it was the best thing that... <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I'm preaching again. It's all right. Are you okay?
Remember we used to talk about opening up that restaurant? Yeah. You're gonna put my photographs on the wall and you were gonna cook. Cook, yeah. Mm. And Drew would tin bar, dispense advice with every gin and tonic. Yeah. How'd you know we probably would have been a hit? I want to file for divorce. You've thought this thing through? What's there to think about? You know the problems we've been having, not to mention the fact that he's sleeping with another woman. I'm not going to condone what he did, but uh, have you considered the bigger picture? You're the last person I expected to defend Well, him. I'm not defending him. It's just that I hate to see seven years of marriage go to waste. Richard, I've been over all this, debating back and forth. You know, I can't even sleep at night. There's nothing left of this marriage to fight for. You're not getting any younger, you know. And Drew's not exactly chomping at the bit. Certainly not your bit. Besides, you said he was lousy in the sack anyway. Do we have to do this now? Go, you can make it. No, I can't! Yes, you can't! Go, 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 go! You're not gonna believe this. Oh, no. Now make sure he takes you somewhere nice. That's what she did. She, she, she threw it all out and she left me this note, you know. Why do you do these things that you do? <laughs> Let's have one more of these, please. Oh, I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have laughed. No, I decided it was time to move on. I mean, besides, she, she kept the house and most of our friends. Well, I'm glad it's not going to be that way with us. Drew may be incredibly self-centered, but at least he doesn't have a malicious bone in his body. Oh, God. You'd be surprised what can happen during a divorce. Did you cheat on your wife? <laughs> I'm sorry. Once. Why do men do it? Men? Oh. We're not the only offenders, Rebecca. Why did you do it? Well, you live with someone for a while and, um, you start taking things for granted. And so you... And then she asks you to leave and you act like you don't know why. So you do it again? Yeah, maybe. Probably. And so you screw up with someone that you really love. I guess if it hurts enough, you learn. <laughs> yeah, but that's better, though. Oh, man, I'll give him something. <laughs> this isn't, uh... Yes? God, there's no escaping him. Conversations is an unforgettable journey through the twisted caverns of the criminal mind. Each chapter presents a different case study of a convicted murderer. Dr. Bishop, a criminal psychologist, has... Hey, come here. It's all right. Come on. Um, we'll take this one. No, 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 no. Let me. Nice, Mike. Thank you. I don't understand. What are you doing? No, really, um... No, I can't do this. Yes, you can. I insist. <laughs> Ow.
I better get home. Get in. What? Get in. Hey, boy. He doesn't usually take to strangers. Would you like some champagne? Careful. They're crystal. This place is something else. My great-grandfather built it. Yeah. Ashby Mining. How did you know? You grew up in this town, everybody knows your family. <sighs> what do we have here? It's a National Literary Award. Drew won it last year. Why don't you do the honors? Click what? Quote. Click quote.
はいはいはい Listen, I, I just I wanted to tell you that last night was very important to me It's just this is the first time in a long time that I've felt anything, Timothy My name's not Timothy. What? It's Jonathan Brinkman. Yeah. I'm in there. Chapter five. I was one of your husband's patients. I think you should leave now. How well do you think you know him? No! No! Now, your husband hired me to kill you. Said to rough you up a bit, make it look like a robbery. You're gonna be very quiet. You understand? Yes. You called Drew yesterday in Boston. Told him you'd just taken your friend to the airport. Said you'd be home around six. He asked you if you had any plans for the evening. You were evasive. Mm -hmm. Drew would never do this. My fee is $50,000. He paid me $25,000. Cash. He wants you dead. Do you keep a gun in the house? I don't believe in guns. Do you keep a gun in the house? It belongs to Drew. Good, because you're gonna need it. He's gonna hire someone else. And they won't waste any time. You'll just turn around, and they'll be there. What are you gonna tell the police? Hmm? Somebody broke in? Somebody threatened you? There's no evidence. And Drew will deny everything. There hasn't even been a crime committed yet. Yes, Jill Shanahan's room, please. Well, 
Can you tell her to please call Mrs. Bishop? Yes, Bishop. It's very urgent. Thank you. Drew sold $25,000 worth of the Vidtech stock. Oh, yeah, Vidtech. God, I advised him against that. That's a really hot company, but he said you guys discussed it. And agreed. He said he needed the cash. <laughs> Money. The cancer of the soul. Are you in some kind of trouble? Come on, we've been friends for forever, you know? If you got a problem, it stays here. What? Last night, I met this guy. Um, uh, Mason, could you hold my calls, please? Thank you. Yeah. This guy, he said... Mason, could you hold my calls? Thank you. Yeah. Rebecca. Oh, sorry. out of your purse. Thank you. Crazy. Somebody here? Rebecca? Why are you here? Rebecca, what the hell are you doing with a gun? I want you to leave now. Just get back in the elevator and go. 
The affair is over. It is completely over. I want you to go, Drew. Look, I am sorry for what I did. It won't happen again. Rebecca, just give me the gun. Back off! got yourself killed. Will you please tell me what this is all about? I know you hired someone to kill me. You're not serious. Oh, I'm very serious. He said you paid him $25,000 cash. Who? You sold some stock, didn't you? The Vidtech stock, yes. Who? And he also knew we spoke on the telephone. Who are you talking about? Jonathan Brinkman. You saw Jonathan Brinkman? He came to my studio. What, are you crazy? Jonathan Brinkman is a borderline schizophrenic. He is under heavy doses of medication, but he is not a... Your drink, sir. Thank you. He is not... He is not a hitman. Honey, you don't understand. I have studied this man. Chapter 5. He wins a person's trust. And then he twists it around. He uses it to hurt them. It's a classic abuse pattern. He learned it as a child. I stopped seeing him years ago. Rebecca, look, this is me. Officer Taft, this is Officer Hartley. Thanks, Miss Bishop. Sure. Thank you. Um, well, we'll do everything we can, but uh, it might take some time. I've already checked with the clinic. Brinkman hasn't been seen for months. If he's gone off his medication... Well, we'll get a restraining order. It takes about 24 hours or something like that. It shouldn't be a problem. Thank you. That would be very helpful. It's all right. The man is extremely dangerous. I understand. Drew. It's the security people. They say they can't come until the end of the week. Look, Mrs. Bishop, could I, uh, could I have a word with you, please? Yes, I understand. Sure. Sorry. Thank you. You can make any adjustment to your fee that you want. I just wanted you to come down to the station. I, I got a few other questions. Of course. Uh, I'll do whatever I can to keep this out of the papers. You know, I, I knew your father. He's a good man. Thank you. Your family's given a lot to this city over the years. Thanks. Good night, detective. Celebrating without me? Oh, uh, I forgot about that. I, I just needed something to help me sleep. Oh, so that's not a problem tonight. Drew. Oh, I've missed you so much. Drew, I'm sorry.
Uh, she did from fire, mm -hmm. smoke detection, motor upgrade directly to our consumer service. To the police. Well, to the police, smoke mm -hmm. detection. And they will determine what type of problem that you have. So it's an upgrade. And there's immediate response. Morning. How did you sleep? I didn't. You'll feel safer tonight. Oh, by the way, the caterers called. They'll be here in about an hour. Caterers? The party. You haven't forgotten about the party, have you? Isn't there any way that we can cancel this? The press releases went out weeks ago. The publisher will go nuts if we cancel now. Besides, what are we going to do with all the food that we've ordered? I don't know, Drew. Why don't you give it to the poor and needy? Honey, my book is becoming a bestseller. We're going into a second printing. I know. I just don't feel like being around a lot of strangers right now. But you know half the people. Drew, they're your friends, not mine. Rebecca, this thing with Jonathan Brinkman, it's over. It's best not to dwell on it. Mr. and Mrs. Bishop, could you come inside? <laughs> it's really quite simple. Now, how do you turn it on? You input the deactivation code. You've got 45 seconds to disarm the system before it recycles. Let's run a test. No, wait. Uh, oh! Uh, Could you please do it? I'm sorry. sorry. Now! I'm sorry. Let me, let me think. Well, uh, what do you want? Okay, do you want the cocktail served until 8 o'clock? Do you think 8 o'clock is you're eight going to be right yes, where, where are you going with that? They go out in the front. Um, do you want the grapevines on the buffet? Well, I don't know. What, what do you usually uh, do? Oh, oh, Mrs. Bishop, I was just wondering. Oh, no, 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 no. We are not going to disturb buffet. Mrs. Bishop. Well, I can put them around the base of the ice sculpture. Well, with it. Oh, well, I'll be serving cocktails until 8. Let's use your own judgment. How do you deal with all this? Are you sure you don't want me to handle it? No, you just relax and I'll take care of everything. Um, but I think I might like to escape for lunch. How about I meet you at that, uh, that place of yours? Okay. Drew. Love you. Mr. Bishop, you've got to come see the flowers. They just arrived. They are absolutely beautiful. Yes. Yes, hello, it's Mrs. Bishop. Um, did my husband leave yet? Uh, about an hour ago, Mrs. Bishop. Okay, thanks. Oh, no. I thought you'd left. thing I needed was for someone to take that. Would you join me? No, I'm in kind of a hurry. How long does a cup of coffee take? It's a nice color. 
Bet it looks real sexy on you. Can I have my dress back, please? What did you say? Rebecca. How did you know my name? My husband. So just a cappuccino. That's all I want. I won't even ask for your phone number, I promise. I have to go. Yeah. Right. Excuse me. Rebecca. I'm sorry, I'm late. I got caught in traffic. Are you all right? You, you look pale. Something wrong? I thought. What? Um, nothing. Just some, some guy tried to pick me up. I'm okay. I don't want you going anywhere without letting me know. All right? I assume uh, everything worked out okay? Yeah. Secrets between old friends? Hey, how about Where's your date tonight, Brooks? Oh, I'm flying solo. Last party, it was one of those uh, ashram girls, wasn't it? Yeah. The barefoot vegetarian Contessa. Refused to shave her legs or use deodorant. True. No, actually, she was quite charming in a simian sort of way. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised you would choose to denigrate my choice in women, considering that I introduced you to and always wished you hadn't. All right, you two, come on. Oh, yeah, um, I have a present for you. Ah, that's not even my birthday. Wrapping papers recycled. Gee, thanks. You know, a Zen master once held the most beautiful wine glass in the world. And a disciple said to him, aren't you sad because you know someday that beautiful glass will break? And he said to me, it's already shattered. He said that now that you've tasted the end of your relationship, you know it won't last forever, so enjoy it. Ever since he lost all his money on the stock market, he has gotten, for lack of a better word, weird. You know, I think we're running low on wine. Where's the bartender? I'll look for him. No, 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 that's okay. I'll get it.
Do you need some help, Mrs. Bishop? No, that's all right. Jonathan. Oh, let me go. Ever since yesterday, I couldn't get you out of my head. I don't know what you're up to. I don't want any part of it. You're crazy. Is that what he said? Jonathan's crazy? Lost his mind? A real psycho case? Get out of my house. I risked my life coming here to help you. I'm calling the police. Did you, uh, did you ask Drew about the money? I suppose he made up some uh, wild story, huh? Don't you think he's overdoing the um, attentive husband routine? It's not like that. He's just reeling you in for the kill. By now, he's probably hired somebody else to do the job. Hey, you've seen something, haven't you? What was it? Some guy in a car? A face in the crowd you see over and over again. What? Some creep tried to pick me up, that's all. And how did he know where to find you? That's how it works. You move in real slow. Smooth. You set the trap. A little cat and mouse. Back up. Rebecca, are you down here? I'll be right there. Did you tell him how we made love on his desk? Can I give you a hand? Ah. Uh, he doesn't love you anymore. Just, just give me a minute, Drew. All right. Hi, enjoying yourself? Yes. What happened to the wine? Oh, sorry. Uh, don't worry about it. Come, there's someone I'd like you to meet. He's a publisher that's just come in from New York, but he does publish photos as well. Uh, uh, Dr. Bishop? He... Yes. Right. Thank you. No, I can't believe this. Um, I'll be right back. You okay? Just promise me you're not going to go anywhere. Well, how could I refuse a request like that? Uh, wouldn't want anyone to get the wrong idea. What's the matter? I'll tell you about it later. One of my patients attempted suicide. I'll have to slip away. You cover for me? How long will you be gone? I'm not sure. Night, Brooks. Which you're not being paid, I assume. You're gonna sound like my accountant and Mason and the bankers. And... You need to borrow some money. No, that's what got me into this mess. You know, I'm okay with it, really. It's a funny thing about an inheritance, you know, since you don't work for it, you never really know its value until you lose it. It's the Chinese character for Crisis. Actually, it's, it's two characters joined together. The one on the left is danger, and the one on the right is opportunity. It gives me about a 50-50 chance. Yeah, but you were never much of a gambler. Well, things change. I'm 
going away. I don't understand. Just, I have something that I have to do. I'll, I'll call you in a few days. Are you seeing somebody? I wish it were that simple. You know, this thing I got in the morning, I can postpone it. Why don't I just stay here tonight? I don't, I don't want you to worry, okay? I just, I have to sort some things out. You sure? I'm very sure. Tell me if it was something. Good night, Brooks. Sorry, Mrs. Bishop, but uh, <clears throat> my men have been through everything, and there's no sign anybody else was in the house at the time of the incident. I told you that he was outside. Now I saw him, and he followed me. Did you, did you notice anything about his car, license plate, or anything? No. When was the last time you saw Jonathan Brinkley? Last night. I see. That's when he told you your husband is trying to kill you. No. Um, we had drinks a few days ago. So while Mr. Bishop was still out of town then. I'd like to wait for my attorney. We're almost done. Oh, sorry, where were we? You said we were finished. You have one more question, though. We are trying to locate Jonathan. 
wondering if you might know where he is. No, I don't. Sure about that? Am I free to go? I need to see Drew. Why don't you wait until tomorrow? Is he going to be OK? He's a lucky man. They're not much of a shot. Come on, I'll follow you over. How are you feeling? Not too bad. I'm so sorry. I can't believe I did this to you. <laughs> Just that when the alarm went off... It was my fault. I couldn't remember the stupid code. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that guy who tried to pick me up? I saw him out in front of the house. It was probably one of Brinkman's friends. But why? Why is he doing this to us? I wanted to spare you the details. But he is a very sick man. He killed his father when he was 17. Beat him to death with a hammer in front of his mother. Make sure she gets home all right. Yeah, I thought I should stay over tonight. No, no, that's not necessary, really. Uh, I think it's a good idea. Listen, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go on home. I, I sort of, uh, I just wanna be alone right now. No, listen. <clears throat> I'll call you if I have any problems, okay? I'm fine. I'm just fine.
Brooks, what are you doing here? Sorry, I, I couldn't just let you stay here alone. You want some tea? Yeah. Brought you these towels. Thanks. Would you like a robe or something? No, no, I don't, I don't think so. Okay. Richard. Hmm. Good night. Yes, hello. Jill Shanahan's room, please. S-H-A. Look, I've called several times. This is Mrs. Bishop. It's very urgent. Bishop. I took the phone out of your room because I didn't want anyone to disturb you. I'm sorry. I think you need this more than I do. Schizophrenic. He is under heavy doses of medication. He doesn't love you anymore. I know you hired someone to kill me. Rebecca. It's a nice color. But it looks real sexy on you. Rebecca. He killed his father when he was 17. Beat him to death with a hammer in front of his mother. No! Did you ask Drew about the money? Oh, yeah. It's a cat. If I was that, I said he needed a cat. My fee is fifty thousand dollars. He paid me twenty one thousand. Cash. 
Here you are, my darling. I can't believe you did this. Now, to tell you the truth, I can't believe I did it either. Your refrigerator is nearly empty. Don't you guys ever eat at home? What do you think? I'm sorry, I just haven't got an appetite. You know what? I'm gonna call Mason and see if I can blow off the day. No, no, don't. I have nothing planned. No, Brooks, I, I don't want you to do that. No, it's no big deal. Just do what you're gonna do! You know, why is it that everyone has this great need to take care of me? I mean, first it was my father. If I ever had a problem in my life, Daddy would just make it go away. And then Drew. Why do you have to be so hard on yourself? I'm not hard on myself. I'm just trying to make my own decisions. And I can take care of myself. And I can answer my own phone. OK, OK. Hello? Mr. Bishop. Good morning. Detective Molkai. You know, Detective. I just happened to be on my way out to see my husband, so I really haven't got time for this. We've located Jonathan Brinkman. What? Brooks, they, they found him. They found Brinkman. Sorry it took so long. No, no, I'm just, I'm glad you finally caught him. Well, I'm afraid that's not quite the situation. What do you mean? Jonathan Brinkman has been dead for six months. We got confirmation on that this morning. Mrs. Bishop?
told me this was supposed to be easy. Stay away from me! Now do you believe me? Dr. Drew hired that guy! He didn't hire anyone. Drew's in a hospital bed because of you! Oh. The police told me about Jonathan Brinkman. Yeah, your husband, the good doctor, had my records. He switched them with this guy, Timothy Myers, who was burned to death in a car wreck. I don't believe this. Look, that was the deal. I get a new clean slate, the police think I'm dead. Deal? Now all you have to do is kill me. Just like you did your father. Look, that was different. Why was it different? He was always beating us up. He destroyed my mother. And, and I had to stop him. Wait. Look. I got these this morning. Now we can get out of here tonight. No, I can't. What? Well, what are you gonna do? Huh? Wait till he hires someone else? Damn it, I won't be there the next time! No, don't! Don't! Let me go! I can't let you go. I'm sorry, I'm just so scared. I know, I know. Listen, I... I can't go in, until I make some arrangements. Come to my studio at 8 o'clock tonight. Don't you believe me? What about him? Go on. Get out of here. Can I help you? What a surprise. Excuse me? You must be Timothy's friend. 
Yeah. Uh, he just, uh, just left. Um. Listen, uh. <clears throat> Timothy gave me a key, but, uh, I'm always losing things. <sighs> Could you be a dear and let me in? Thanks a lot. Um, Any time. My name's Bob. Shanahan's room, please. She's not here right now. Well, can you tell her to please call Mrs. Bishop? Bishop? Yes, Bishop. It's very urgent. Certainly. Thank you. Hey, Becky. Jill here. Sorry I didn't get back to you, but uh, you should have come with me. The men here, unbelievable. Anyway, I'll try to call you later. Bye-bye. Mr. Bishop, Detective Molkai. We've located Jonathan Brinkman. What? Sorry it took so long. No, no, I'm just, I'm glad you finally caught him. I'm afraid that's not quite the situation. Drew. God, you scared me. <gasps> oh. You've been busy.
doing all of this for us. Hey, listen. I can help you. Drew understands everything now. And, and he trusts me. Minded all of it. Brooks hired him. We were in it together. Rebecca, I've always loved you. Rebecca, trust me. Please, Rebecca. Please. It's 
Here you go. I still can't believe it. It must have been horrible. When we met him, it seemed like such an ordinary guy. I'm sorry, honey. This must be so difficult for you. You know, I really had no idea how much, how much she loved me.